Well, we've been on a weather roller coaster this week. Temperature started in the 60s, then dipped into the single digits. Now we're headed back up just in time for the weekend. Meteorologist Gary Amble has a closer look at Saturday, Sunday, and the next seven days. Gary? Well, first of all, I see no 60s uh, in our future, at least not over the next week. But we may be cracking into the 50s by next week. Carpet Corner Flooring City Cam. We still have snow on the ground in so many locations. This is the stadium complex. And yeah, there's a lot of snow there. But Mother Nature will likely take care of most of that within the next few days. 26 St. Joe, 31 officially in Kansas City. In fact, the Kansas City number Matching Lawrence is the two warmest spots. I guess Richmond is right there as well. But most areas slipping down into the 20s now. Now factor in the wind. There's not much of a breeze, but enough to drop our wind chill by 11. 20 is what it feels like. That wind is blowing in at about 15 miles an hour. It's about as strong as that wind will get. Tomorrow, the wind will turn to the south. Initially, very calm in the day, but there's going to be a fairly brisk pace to the breeze by the afternoon. Here's how the evening plays out. We'll drop off quite a bit now that the sun has gone down. 22 degrees at about 7, losing a couple more by 9. Upper teens will take over just after that at 11 o'clock 16, and we're down into the low teens by daybreak tomorrow, down to about 12 degrees. Saturday, another day filled with sunshine. And with a southerly breeze coupling up with that sunshine, we should do a little bit better than today. Today, we snuck into the mid-30s, 12 at 7, 16 at 8. But then temps really get going once you put a little angle on us from that sunshine. We're above freezing at noon. We'll stay above freezing all the way through at least 6 p.m., probably 7 o'clock as well, looking at about 7, maybe 8 hours of above freezing temperatures, enough to make the roadways a little bit wet and messy. And again, that could be a bit of a problem for areas traveling, so make sure that washer fluid is topped off. Off to the east is where the big snowstorm is now, but there's not much left of it. That's what's left of the second wave pushing through areas of Ohio and West Virginia right now. And for us, well, we may be teased by clouds. There will be systems pushed through. There will be weak cold fronts that push through over the next week, but not enough moisture to kick out any form of precipitation. That's rain, none of that, or snow. Obviously, none of that as well. Well, let's check your Security Bank seven-day forecast. 40 degrees and sunshine tomorrow, starting out at 12, so don't think the whole weekend is warm. The first few hours of the day on Saturday certainly will be cold. 24 in the morning Sunday, but the rebound high hits 44. Monday, not bad at 42. And then the warmest weather is in here by the middle of next week. Tuesday's daytime high hits 51. 52 on Wednesday. Now we do take a little bit of a step backwards on Thursday, but 48 degrees in February is still mild. That's actually closer to normal by the end of the month. And Friday at 55, that'll feel like the second week of March. So again, some early spring weather is heading our way by next week, especially through the second half of next week. And I think that's when most of the snow on the ground now will be gone. I'll have a look at that weekend forecast, breaking it out into day parts coming up tonight at 10.